Hi, third graders. Today's a really exciting day. Today, we're going to learn the last of the undercurve lowercase letters. And tomorrow, we're going to move on to the down curve letters. You know a lot of letters so far. So before we start today, I just want to remind you um, that get yourself ready by having a blank piece of paper or a whiteboard. You should always practice on a blank piece of paper first so until you are comfortable with the shape. Uh, and then make sure you're sitting up nice and tall and your board is slanted. If you're a righty, it slants this way to the right. And if you're a lefty, it slants towards your body to the left. Okay, if you can write all of these undercurve letters, then you can also write a lowercase undercurve P. That's the letter of the day. P is a little tricky, boys and girls, because it has a lot of strokes. And so you may need to practice P a lot probably more than you practice some of the other letters. Let's try it. It starts just like a J. Undercurve, slants to the basement, loop back, and then it's up and over curve, and then another undercurve. That is your lowercase p. Watch again, it's got a lot of strokes. Undercurve, slants to the basement, loops back, up and over curve, under curve. Under curve, slants to the basement, loops back, up and over curve, under curve. Under curve, slants all the way to the basement, loops back, up and over curve, under curve. That's your lowercase p. I'm gonna show you again really slowly. Under curve, Pull your pen to the basement, pull back, loop back, then go up and over curve, and then under curve. That's your lowercase p. It will be really important, boys and girls, for you to trace the p's on your sheet for p. More important, maybe, than any other letter. P is a tricky one, and tracing P's that are already correctly written will help your brain remember the shape. But P is definitely a tricky one to learn. Under curve, pull back to the basement, loop back, and then go up and over curve, under curve. That is your lowercase p. I'm about to show you a lot of joinings because you know a lot of letters now. And so joinings means practicing two and three letter bunches. This is important because it helps you practice a uniform slant and uniform spacing. So uh, let's practice a few joinings. I'm not going to tell you what they are because you've gotten very good at reading cursive. So you can read them as I write them. Here I go. Check it out. If you read P I, P E, P L, P R, P H as in phone and S P as in spelling, you're right. You're getting very good at reading cursive. Boys and girls, I think you should practice a lot of joinings on blank paper before you move on to a fresh piece of lined paper. Um, practicing without the lines helps you focus on shape. And so before you move on to line, line paper, make sure you practice a lot. Let's move to line paper. And remember, the other thing that you can do, especially if you're having trouble, is to print out a lot of blank cursive plate paper for practicing, but you can watch these videos over and over again. Uh, you can pause them and practice as you go. It's a good idea. Once we're on line paper, it's really, really important to focus on those four keys to legibility. The size of your letters, which the lines help us do, 
the shape of your letters, which the lines also help us do, and the slant and the spacing between your letters and then eventually between your words. So Mrs. D is going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to show you some joinings you can practice, different joinings this time. Um, and I'd like you to do the same on your line paper before you start writing words. If you read P-U and P-I, you're right. I'm going to write P-H again because it's in a common word that you might frequently write. Phone starts with a P-H. There's my P-H. And I'm also going to write two more different ones. If you said R-P, you're correct. And last but not least, if you said L-P, you're also correct. Correct. So there are some good two-letter joinings. You fill up a whole page when you write your joinings too and then circle your best one. I think this one's my best one. It's got uniform slant and uniform spacing. Let me show you P by itself on this page. I'm going to make a few and again I want you to look at them, look at yours and circle your best one on each line. Under curve, Pull to the basement, loop back, up and over curve, under curve. Under curve, pull to the basement, loop back, up and over curve, under curve. Under curve, slant to the basement by pulling it back, loop back, up and over curve, under curve. There are three Ps. I think this one is my best. Okay, boys and girls, I'll write a few words and I'm going to show you some common P mistakes. Um, before I let you go, practice on your own. Here I go. Here's some words. I'll let you read them so I won't tell you. You can figure it out once I write them. Here's one. Here's another one. And again, Mrs. D's focusing on a uniform slant and uniform spacing. And here's one more. Let's see if you can read them. If you read put, spell, and beep, you're right. You're getting very good at reading cursive. I think this one looks the best. Let me circle that one. Okay, last but not least, before you go off to practice your P's on your own, I want to show you some very common P mistakes. Here's the most common one I see in a lone N. This one's the most common. This happens a lot, especially when you first start making your P's. This is how you can avoid this because there's too much space here for this to look right. So this doesn't look like a P. Watch, under curve, pull back, loop back, and then watch, go up and over, but keep it close to the up and over curve. Keep it close to this part so you don't have that much of a space. This might happen to you the first few times you write the P. It's okay. It just takes practice. Under curve, pull back, watch. Loop it back, but then keep your pen close to that first part of the P, then up and over curve, under curve. And then you won't get so much of a gap. Don't be surprised though if this happens to you the first time you write the P's. It's the most common P mistake I see. Okay, boys and girls, good luck. As always, your teachers love to see how your cursive is coming along. So take a picture of your work and send it to us. See you tomorrow.